for a nice Saturday bike ride. I am an action camera's worst nightmare. Wow, my voice is bassy. <laughs> I have a cold. Wait, hold on. He is an action camera's worst nightmare. <laughs> the reason why I say this, that I'm the worst nightmare of these things, is because of how I shoot pretty much everything. I'm a mountain biking filmmaker, which means there's a ton of fast moving motion. We're out in the trees where the contrast is absolutely brutal. It's just so, so difficult to get a good quality image out of an action camera in the scenarios that I put them into every day. So that's what this poor little X4 is working with today. This is a brand new X4 from Insta360. It's an 8K 360 action camera. And we're gonna go film some stuff with it that it'll probably hate a lot. And I'll show you the results. We'll compare it to the X3 as well. And as you know by now, I've been shooting Insta360 cameras for years and years and years now. We work with them on a whole bunch of different levels. And so this isn't like an official review from me, but what I hope to give you is the best possible scenario for you to be able to make up your mind whether you wanna buy this or not. And that is just to go and use it and then show you what I get. But yeah, if I feel like there's any mud whatsoever, I'm just gonna kick off the trail. But here we are. Beautiful, beautiful valley here in 8K. Valley's just been caught in 8K. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the light is spotty. Oh yeah, see a little bit of mud here already in those open areas. That continues, I just gotta go somewhere else. Okay, so the thing is, is that I recorded all of the talking portions of this video out in that very nice, beautiful location in the Rocky Mountains. But once I started editing this video together, I realized that I needed to scrap all of it. I just went into all of these like settings and features and stuff in the camera that although they're very cool, I just, I pers I just don't, I'm not going to use them. I don't, I'm not going to use these things. And if it were me clicking into this very video, all I'd really want to know is how's the video quality? How's the audio quality? Is it significantly better than its predecessor? Who is the camera for? And who is the camera not for? So that's what we're going to do here. So X4, obviously the next model in the line in the X series of cameras, it can do 8K in 360 mode or 4K in single lens mode. They added a bunch of new frame rates, which is cool, although I generally only just use 24 frames per second because I'm a psychopath, but it's nice to know that they're there. And as you can see, it's pretty much the exact same type of design as the X3. The X4 is just a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier. And that size and weight difference is, pr is mostly just because of the significantly larger battery that they put into the X4 over the X3. The only other major physical change that you can see on the exterior is the addition of lens guards. And lens guards are something that many of us action sports videographers have been asking for for years and years and years now. So very, very happy that they included these on the X4. Uh, this camera ships with these plastic standard lens guards, or you can purchase higher end glass lens guards made by Gorilla Glass. And when I first heard that these ones were plastic, I just like sloughed them off. I'm like, ah, it's going to be garbage for video quality. I'm never going to use them, um, but I've actually been proven wrong. These are pretty sick and I haven't really seen a drop in video quality. Quite shocked about that. So stoked to try out the, the glass ones from Gorilla Glass as well, because those can only be better, right? And by the way, the glass of the main screen of the camera is also made by Gorilla Glass now. So that should be a, a lot more resistant to scratching and cracking. Considering how many times that me and other people I ride with have smashed onto the ground, onto these lenses and onto this screen, pretty happy about both those changes. Okay, image quality, 8K in an action camera. Does an action camera need 8K? Well, for single lens shooting, not really, no. But for dual lens, if you're shooting in 360 mode, most definitely yes. If we're, if we're talking about 360 footage, going from 5.7K to 8K is a really significant difference. So now I can blend in my reframed 360 footage into my regular 4K single lens footage or from like, you know, really high quality cameras like this. And you do not see that significant kind of quality drop that you did before. What all this means is that now I'm not having to compromise on image quality and resolution when I wanna choose between single lens or dual lens mode on my action camera, which is a big deal. Like this has never, never been the case in the history of action cameras. And for an action sports filmmaker like myself, pretty pumped about that. Um, here's a little secret for you that I learned about the X4 and the X3. These two cameras actually have the same sensors. And I never understood why you could do 4K single lens wow. 
on the X3, but only 5.7K dual lens. That math didn't really add up in my mind. And now we know. But to actually unlock like the full 8K resolution in 360 mode out of the X4, Insta360 had to shoehorn a much more powerful processor and a way bigger battery into this thing. And because they're moving around a lot more pixels and like double the bit rate as before, they also were telling me that they had to put a massive amount of engineering time and effort into heat management. And for me, as soon as I heard those last two lovely words in a video chat that I had with Insta360, I immediately grabbed the X4, put it into 8K 360 mode, sat it down right here in my living room where there is zero airflow, and just let it run, because I wanted to see how quickly this thing would burn up on me. <laughs> but after letting it run for nearly half an hour, I got bored and turned it off. It was completely fine. There was no heat warnings. It didn't overheat at all. It wasn't even really hot to the touch. It was warm, of course, but given the size of this camera and given that it's pumping 8K resolution through to the memory card, and given the fact that they shipped this thing with a heat guard, um, I figured when I grabbed this thing, I was gonna get first degree burns, but it was perfectly normal as far as like high res action cameras go. So battery life. Battery life is the same in 8K mode as it was in 5.7K mode on the X3. And if you wanted a ridiculous amount of battery life, you can drop this thing down to 5.7K. And Insta360 says you will get over two hours of filming time before you need to change the battery. Moving on to audio. The audio okay. on the X4 sounds very similar to the X3. And the X3 sounds great. I have no problem with the sound from the X3. And I also have no problem with the sound from the X4. It's nice and crisp and clear. It's well balanced, um, but small caveat, I only shoot all of my action cameras in stereo mode. And I always, always, always put these little wind muffler fuzzy things over the left and right stereo mics. This is the best way to capture audio with an, every single action camera on the market. So if you're using stereo mode, um, the audio is awesome. I haven't really tested any of the other stereo modes because I just, I don't really care about them so much to be perfectly honest. And I was happy to see that Insta360 is making X4 specific uh, little wind mufflers for the camera itself. These come off, by the way. They don't have to be on there all the time. So the dual lens image quality is fantastic. The single lens image quality is good. We knew that already. The audio is good. The battery life is great. But this camera isn't necessarily for everybody. So who is it for and who should maybe look elsewhere? Testing out, camera? testing out the X4. Oh. It's 8K. 8K. Yeah, 8K 360. So now when you reframe it, it's like 4K. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to get 316K. If you are somebody who primarily shoots in 360 mode, and especially for those who are kind of rough on their cameras, the 8K resolution, the much higher bit rate, the Gorilla Glass screen and the lens covers makes this a pretty solid purchase if you're someone like myself that captures a lot of action camera footage wants that image quality and crashes on it a lot. So this is 8K at 6,000 Kelvin for white balance, minus one EV flat picture profile. Let's see what this looks like. right there Whoa. lots of shadows and highlights and fine detail whipping past everywhere let me tell you action cameras hate that <laughs> i can truthfully honestly say that if we weren't partnered with insta 360 i would be spending my own money on the x4 as a main POV filming camera for this channel. Now, if you're shooting in single lens mode, like 90% of the time, and you just kind of dabble in 360 here and there, the X3 is still where it's at for that. It's a fantastic camera. You're not gonna notice nearly as much of a quality difference if between like the single lens 4K mode on this and the single lens 4K mode on this the X4. So they're not getting rid of the X3. They're still selling it below the X4. So that might be the ticket for you. And that is my personal take on the Insta360 X4. Go and watch and read as many reviews on the camera as you possibly can. Collect all that data so you can make the best informed choice when you go to spend your hard earned money. And for me on the Lone Ranger channel, you are going to be seeing a lot more footage from this little guy. Um, you can click here to see how I post process and export all of my action camera footage to look great 
even on platforms like Instagram, or you can click over there to find out what type of action camera you should probably be buying for what you like to shoot most. Thanks for watching.